Do you think samurai actually carry two swords? Well, you're wrong. And today, I'm gonna tell you the truth about samurai swords. So, just so you know, we are a museum about samurai and katanas, and we perform all our own research. Many people know samurai swords all around the world for their beauty and their deadliness. And when we think of these samurai, we like to think of them always having two swords. This is not true. And today, I'll tell you the top three myths on why people believe samurai always carried two swords. The first reason is Miyamoto Musashi, who is one of the most famous samurai in all of Japan. What made him special was the fact that he won over 60 duels and he never lost one of them. And also, he was 180 centimeters tall, which is around almost 6 foot. Meanwhile, most samurai were only 5 foot 5 feet tall. The most important fact about Miyamoto Musashi is he made Niten Ryu, which is a special sword style which specializes in using two swords. Not many samurai followed his sword school, and this meant not many samurai would use two swords at once. So it was very rare to see samurai actually using two swords on the battlefield. Most likely, you would only ever see them using one. The second reason for the samurai having the two sword myth is due to the fact that samurai lived during many different time periods. Now there's three main time periods that mattered to the samurai. During the Muromachi, samurai would not carry katana, but actually they would carry swords called tachi. Now tachi were special because they were designed with the edge at the bottom and also they were very long. Now what made tachi very important was they were used on horses, but they wouldn't carry two swords during this time period, but rather a tachi and a tanto which is a little dagger that samurais use. The reason why samurai would carry a dagger was to stab in between the gaps of their opponent's armor. The next important time period to the samurai was the Sengoku Jidai. So during this time period, samurai didn't always carry two swords, but they also carried many other different types of weapons. During the Edo period, that samurai were forced to wear two swords. This was part of the law, except some samurai didn't do this due to their status. Before I move into the third reason, first I want to explain the purpose of carrying two swords. These swords had different purposes. Katana like this one behind me were very long, which meant they could use it in outdoor fighting, and you could use it with two hands, it meant it had a much more powerful swing which meant it could cut through bone. Indoors, there was a chance when you're swinging your sword, you would hit the roof. So instead, samurai would use shorter swords like this one, the wakizashi. It's much easier to grab from its case. So for example, if an assassin was coming at you, or another samurai was attacking you in the street, this would be very quick and easy to grab in order to defend yourself. Meanwhile, a katana, which is longer, takes more time to pull out of its case, which means you might not have the time to protect yourself and you might die. This short sword, the wakazashi, was a reminder of seppuku or harakiri. If a samurai ever dishonored his lord to show his honor back to him, he would kill himself by taking out his short sword and cutting open his stomach. Now the third reason for why samurai didn't carry two swords was due to different samurai classes. The biggest and most powerful group were daimyo, samurai leaders. They controlled their own areas of land, but also they controlled other samurai. For example, they would hire other samurai as warriors, but also other things such as police officers. The next group of samurai I wish to talk about are samurai. This was one of the most common groups of the samurai social class, and these were the warriors of the samurai social class. Now ronin were still samurai, and they were born into samurai families, but they did not have masters. This meant many ronin did not have work, so they would need to work other jobs such as being farmers. And this also meant many ronin were actually very poor. Since they were so poor, many ronin would actually have to sell their two swords. During the movie Harakiri, if you watch it, you can see a samurai who sold his sword. And when he had to commit seppuku, you could watch him do it with a bamboo blade. Let me tell you of a samurai who actually only carried zero swords. Tsukuhara Bokuden was one of the most strongest samurai of his time, and it is said he has killed over 200 opponents in duels and in the battlefield. After being so strong, he realized how pointless killing and dueling was. He tried to pursue a path of peace of a sword style which used zero swords. When another samurai who wanted to prove his strength 
challenged him to a duel while they were on a boat. So the samurai said, let's take this boat to an island over there and we will fight to the death. When they got near the island, the samurai jumped out of the boat. But Tsukuhara Bokuden, instead of going to duel the samurai, he rowed the boat away. And he said to the samurai, this is my famous zero sword style. And this kind of thinking has inspired martial arts and movies today. For example, Shotokan Karate has this philosophy of more peacefulness and kata. Maybe the most famous martial artist, Bruce Lee, loved this story so much, he included an example of it in his movie, Enter the Dragon. Let's end the video by summarizing it. There were three main reasons why samurai didn't carry two swords. The first is during different time periods of the samurai, it wasn't a rule. So the next reason why samurai carried two swords was as a status symbol during the Edo period to show that they were samurai. Although only rich samurai could do this. Many poor samurai and ronin couldn't afford to keep their swords and had to sell them. Now the third thing to recap from this video, any samurai carried two swords because they would use a long one like this for outdoor fighting and a short one like this for indoor fighting. Also, long swords were used to cut through hard targets like bone, while softer swords were used to cut through soft targets like the neck or the stomach. And every time the samurai looked down at his hip and he saw this short sword, he was reminded of the loyalty to his master and if he failed him, he would have to commit seppuku with a small sword on his hip. Now thank you everybody for watching today's video. We appreciate the views. If you could please like, subscribe, hit the bell and comment, that would be very nice too. See you all next time!